Hey guys, Steven here from Adolescence and welcome back to another video. Today I'm very happy to be coming at you guys with my collection video. I have been working on this video for such a long time now. I have been putting together and organizing my bottles for the past two days now and this is one of the most, by far the most requested video that I seem to get on my channel. It seems like um, every month or so I get somebody inboxing me and asking me to put this video together. So here I am. I'm very happy to finally be able to bring you this video and I hope you enjoy it. So these are all of my bottles. I didn't take the time to count how many I have. Maybe Maybe I'll do it later and I'll leave it in the description so just uh, check in the description that'll tell you how many bottles I have but um, I know it's uh, over 300 um, I know it's close to 400 if I'm not mistaken but here's it uh, he this is everything that I have in my collection and uh, again like I said I've been wanting to do this for a very long time now but it seems like I always kept putting it off because I I'm, I'm, I'm thinking to myself well I have a bottle coming in the mail and if I shoot it next week I'll have an extra bottle or two to put in the video and I kept holding it off, putting it off more and more and more until it eventually got to the point where you know I've amassed this many bottles and I never did a video so I'm gonna try to do this every year or every two years I don't know this is tough and it took a lot of time this consumed my entire weekend and uh, I don't know if you have noticed but uh, it's in alphabetical order so I'm gonna try to make this video as short as possible I'm not really gonna talk about each fragrance because I'm gonna be here forever and um, I don't wanna bore you guys to death so once again thank you so much for watching let me just go ahead and get into it it's gonna be really hard moving and maneuvering the camera so if I have to walk around a little bit please excuse me for that so we'll go ahead and start at the back here. <clears throat> so it, I did my absolute best to put it in alphabetical order. So we're going to start off by uh, 50 uh, Power by 50 Cent, a nice melon lemongrass scent. Lanonim by Lab on Fire. We have Woods by Abercrombie & Fitch, kind of a dated small, that's the original formulation. We have Adam Levine from Men, which is kind of like a musky lemongrass scent, really nice actually. Moose by Adidas, which is an aquatic. We have Epic Man, which is a really spicy fragrance by Amouage. Honor Man, also spicy, more peppery with black pepper and pink pepper. We have Interlude Man, which is a very dark, potent, rich, and dense, smoky fragrance with resins and incense, Jubilation 25. Also incense with a pop and axe and berries. We have Lyric Man, which is um, a rose and lime for men. Memoir Man, which is kind of like a wormwood, earthy, vetiver fragrance. And then we have Reflection Man by Amouage. I'm going to try to bring the camera around and then I'll continue because I would have to walk around this huge table in order to get to the other side. So. I'm just gonna go here. This is Unscripted by Patrick Dempsey. Um, really peppery scent. Wild Country by Avon. Smells like a barber shop. Chrome by Azaro. Chrome Legend. Uh, Chrome Summer 2013. We have Decibel by Azaro, which is a nice lemony incense fragrance. Azaro uh, Now. Um, Azaro Visit. Uh, um, that's Black Walnut and Slade by Banana Republic and then we have my Bath and Body Works fragrances back there. I'll get to that on the other side. We have uh, Cold by the United Colors of Benetton, kind of like a minty geranium scent. Uh, Fantastic Wild Citrus for Boys, composed by Nick Minardo, really nice lemon orange citrus scent. We have uh, Brazil Nut by The Body Shop. We have White Musk by The Body Shop, a lot of ISOE Super in that, smells great. We have Andy Warhol by Bond Number 9, the face edition. We have um, uh, Bond Number 9.com, like a candied version of Aventus. Uh, Central Park West, I think. Chinatown by Ohelia and Guichard, beautiful composition. Coney Island, which kind of smells like a margarita. Um, and then we have Odeng, New York, and then I'll come back around to the other ones. We have Boucheron Porom, a nice mature, powdery, ambery scent. Brooks Brothers Black Fleece Red. Uh, this one is, smells buttery. It's horrible. We have Brute. Can't, can't go wrong with that, right? Aqua Amaro by Bulgari. We have Bulgari Porom, the original. Bulgari Black by Anique Minardo. Smells like 
you know, like a burning rubber or whatever. Bulgari Man, which is peppery, kind of smells like Honor Man by Amouage a little bit. We have Man in Black, which is kind of like a pink pepper, spicy, resinous version of Bulgari Man. And then we have Burberry Brit, which is a powdery rose in London, which is a nice pine, resin, cinnamony, um, green type of a fragrance. Burberry Sport Ice, um, which is the strongest ginger that I have ever come across in my collection. Blue de Chanel, grapefruit and incense, great fragrance. Poor Monsieur Concentrate, really nice cardamom with lavender and vanilla. We have Sycamore, which is a really dirty uh, vetiver. We have Charlie Red. We have uh, Sandalwood Fig by CJ Scents, really nice creamy, almost edible fragrance, beautiful. Uh, we have Clinique Happy for Men, really nice orange. Corvassier L'Edition Imperial. Uh, this one is um, like a like a boozy, smoky vetiver. We have Creed's Aventus. You you already know about that. Creed's Green Irish Tweed, Millicent Imperial, the Gold Bottle, the more recent bottle, Original Santal, and then we'll get around to the other ones. We have Cuba Prestige, which is a knockoff of Angel Men. We have DS and Durga in collaboration with Brooklyn Dry Goods. This is spent musket oil, a very smoky birch tar leathery type of a scent. We have um, um, David Beckham. This one is a really nice uh, vetiver. Um, oh, it's called Instinct, by the way. Here we have Hot Water by Davidoff, nice, nice spicy aquatic, similar to Zerius Rouge by Givenchy. The Game, which is kind of like a juniper berry, tonka bean, coumarin scent. Uh, Demeter, we have Pipe Tobacco and Coconut, really nice novelty scents. Uh, Diesel Plus Plus Feminine and Masculine. We have Fuel for Life, which is kind of like a berry, heliotrope, you know, sweet, youthful scent. Um, Oriental Lounge by the different company Beautiful Amber, uh, Bois d'Argent by Christian Dior, and Eau Noir by Christian Dior, both of which are part of the La Collection Privé line. And there we have Eau Sauvage. Um, Ed Hardy's Love and Luck, a nice alternative to Creed's uh, Millicent Imperial. We have Skulls and Roses, which pretty much smells like Abercrombie and Fitch is fierce. We have Passion for Men by Elizabeth Taylor. Uh, Escada Magnetism, which people say smells like grape soda. Uh, Sentiment by Escada, also discontinued if I'm not mistaken. This is a nice pepper and lime scent. Uh, Youth Dew by Estee Lauder. We have Fille de Dieu Duris et de Sagrum by Talibur Durange, uses the note of Shiso, very unique. Secretions Magnifique, there's another uh, novelty in my collection, has a Poppinac, salt, coconut. Uh, we have Express uh, Reserve, this is the original formulation, a lot of spices and amber, really beautifully done. Uh, and then we have the Leathery Fan Defendi Pour Homme, Frank Number no. 2 by Frank Los Angeles, which is a nice plum, Fougere type of a scent, 1270 by Frappin, which has plum and some other gourmand notes, really well done, a cognac note in there. Uh, we have a leathery, lemony Passion Boise by Frappin, two bottles of Frederick Mall, the older version and the newer uh, version, and both of those are Musk Ravageur by Maurice Roussel. And then we have Fujiyama Gentleman, I'll get around to the other ones. So, let me make my way around. <sighs> okay. So um, here right next to um, Reflection Man by Amouage, we have uh, Ancestry for Men by Amway Global. It's a knockoff of Le Mans. Uh, Pop by Andy Warhol, which contains a lot of dihydromersinol, smells like liquid soap spilled on an aluminum counter. We have Animal for Men, the original, which smells like um, uh, Calvin Klein's Eternity, a lot of lavender. Quorum by Antonio Puig, dated oak moss scent. Two bottles of Aqua Di Gio, beautiful composition by Alberto Morillas, really paved the way along with cool water. We have Attitude by Giorgio Armani, nice coffee lemon lavender scent. Code, which contains a unique olive note, very sophisticated. Vani and Sensei by Atelier Cologne, really nice youthful vanilla. Blue Sugar, which should be called Burnt Sugar by Aqualina. Mesmerized by Avon, really nice amber, also very complex. We have Signature by Avon, one of the nicest red apple scents I have ever smelled. We have Tribute for Men by Avon, kind of Avon, excuse me, kind of looks like a Roman god, a uh, very unique scent. And then we have Perceive by Avon, another really nice scent over there. So here are the Bath and Body Works scents that I was talking about before. We have um, Citron, Classic, um, what's this one? Dark Amber, Mahogany Woods. Guys, please check out Mahogany Woods, this one right here. Um, 
That one is absolutely amazing. That's niche quality. Um, we have ocean, we have oak, um, noir, Paris, Twilight Woods. We have uh, Sea Island Cotton, which is actually marketed for women, but it just smells like freshly laundered clothes. It smells really good, actually. And over here, we have White Citrus, which is kind of different from Citron, so make sure you give it a try um, if it catches your attention or appeals to your interests at all. Uh, here next to the Burberry Sport Ice, we have CKB by Calvin Klein, my first fragrance ever, along with uh, Twilight, uh, along with Abercrombie and Fitch Woods. We have Calvin Klein's Crave, we have Encounter, we have CK1 Shock, CK1 Summer 2014, smells like a margarita, smells like Tommy Bahama Set Sail St. Bart's mixed with Coney Island. We have um, Beauty by Calvin Klein, a nice jasmine scent. 212 Sexy Men by Carolina Herrera, which smells a lot like Le Mans. We have Roadster Sport by Cartier, that's the mini. Uh, really beautiful mint, very energetic and uh, rejuvenating. We have Celine Dion for men. This one kind of has like a hazelnut, uh, myrrh, incense -y characteristic. I think this is Sirius number six. I know the name changed. Uh, Cerruti Image Essence, which is a really nice pear, mint, aquatic, light, clean scent. Chanel's Allure en Edition Blanche, a creamy lemon, and then we have Chant uh, Chanel's Antaeus, also another great scent. Um, here we have Cuba Royal, which is a knockoff of Paco Rabanne's One Million. Cuba Red, which kind of has like a fougere feel. I really don't like it. Cuba Gray, which along with Animal uh, also smells like uh, Calvin Klein Eternity. And then we have Cuba Gold, which smells like Le Mans. We have Cuba Brazil, which is a nice tonka bean clean soapy scent and then we have Cuba Black which has a very mature dated smell stay away from that one I really don't like that one we have uh, Virgin Island Water by Creed Pina Colada in a Bottle Tabarome which is a really nice orangey gingery uh, smooth leafy tobacco spice and wood and as the name implies it has spice and wood we have Silver Mountain Water by Creed with that ink note we have Royal English Leather a vaulted scent very animalic uh, original veteran which smells like Mugler Cologne, original Santal, which is cinnamon and sandalwood. And then here we have Eau Svelte by Dior. It actually smells a lot like Fantastic Wild Citrus for boys. Nice orangey scent. Dior Homme, Masculine Iris, Dior Homme Intense. The One by Dolce & Gabbana, beautiful composition by Olivier Polge. We have um, Dosses Cologne Ombre Dioro, smells like One Million. Um, he Would by um, D Squared. Potion by D-squared, nice cinnamony, resinous, autumn-like fragrance. We have um, Golden Boy by Duetto Parfums. Really nice version of Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather without the berry note. Then we have Aqua Decima by Eau de Tali, composed by Alberto Morias. Really nice mojito fragrance with like mint and lime and citrus. Um, it, it's actually a really good contender for Zerjoff's 1861. Make sure you check it out. Bom du Doge, which is like an orangey myrrh scent with incense. Bois d'Ombri, uh, really nice boozy tobacco. And Jardin du Poet, which in my opinion is like 80% cucumber, 20% rose. The last three were composed by Bertrand du Chafour. And then here we have Ed Hardy for Men by Christian Auger. Gucci Pour on One, which smells like pencil shavings. We have Made to Measure by Gucci, which has a plum note. Uh, we have Gucci Guilty Black, which has a coriander note. Um, it's actually not a bad Gucci. We have Karma by Lush, which is a really nice patchouli. Dirty, which is a nice minty uh, fragrance by Lush or Gorilla Perfumes in accordance with Lush. Xerius Rouge, which has a cactus note. It actually kind of reminds me of... Um, Davidoff's Hot Water. Pie by Givenchy, which is a nice almond heliotrope amaretto uh, type of a scent. Uh, Grey Flannel by Jeffrey Bean. This is uh, Dan's favorite. We have Eau de Grey Flannel, which is an aquatic version of that. It actually doesn't smell that bad. We have Gap Blue number 655. It's just a, a chemical citrus fragrance, very cheap. Full Metal Jacket, which is an, a spicy sugary amber um, by FMJ Perfumes. And Fujiyama, uh, Fujiyama Gentleman. So those are all of the scents that I have uh, back there. I, this is A through G. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Gs that I have here on this table. So we have my Guerlain's. So we have Guerlain Ohm. I actually have two bottles of that. 
um, Tonka Imperial, which is a nice Tonka uh, vanilla almond type of a scent. Uh, Guerlain's Vetiver, original formulation, the next formulation, and now it's been reformulated yet again. Nice, clean, crisp, professional vetiver. We have Guest Night, a Francis Kirk Jean composition. It actually smells a lot like Beloved Man. And then we have, I think it's a Halston. I'm not sure which one. It belonged to my grandfather. He didn't want it anymore, so I just took it. Salmaran by Healy, which is a nice, salty, uh, fishy type of a scent, true aquatic. Uh, travel size, 10 ml of Ambre Narguilé by Hermès, kind of like an apple sweet scent. We have Un Jardin sur le Nil. We have three Histoire de Parfum. We have two bottles of 1725. And then we have two Burroughs, one. 1725 is a nice Fougère lavender, powdery type of a scent. Two Burroughs, one has iris and two Burroughs kind of smells like waxy and lipstick. Boss bottle number six by Hugo Boss. We have uh, Ciel de Arain by Houtier Mart. Really nice fig base scent. We have Hummer 2 or H2 by Hummer. We have two fragrances out, uh, back there by Il Profumi di Firenze. Uh, they are Limoni di Sicilia and Frangipani e Coco. Here we have Fresco by Lemdine, the first Aventus copycat. We have A City on Fire by um, Imaginary Authors. Um, Cape Heartache by Imaginary Authors. The first one is a really smoky scent. The second one is like, it smells like a Christmas tree with like berries and like strawberry or something like that. Really nice. Lotus A. Peron by Isimeyaki, a nice yuzu scent. And then we have the summer version with kiwi and mango in it, if I'm not mistaken. We have Coco Rico by Jean-Paul Gaultier, which is a cocoa and fig uh, combination. Then we have Le Beaumont. We have Le Mans. We have a travel size of the John Barbados. And then we have um, uh, Artisan by John Barbados. So that's a nice um, orange flower scent. It actually reminds me a lot of Fleur d'Orange 27 by Le Labo kind of has like a sweetness to it. We have Copper Skies by Kerosene, uh, Four Dark Corners, which is my custom-made kerosene, Pretty Machine, which is a linden blossom. Uh, we have Santalum Slivers, which of course is um, sandalwood. And then we have Unknown Pleasures, which smells like an orange creamsicle. And these are all the old presentation for kerosene. We have Glenn Perry's Unpredictable Adventure. We have Killian Straight to Heaven, which is a nice rum-based uh, spicy scent. We have Alambar by Laboratorio Olfativo. This one is a beautiful plain amber. Uh, nice interpretation of an amber too. We have L1212 Noir by Lacoste, which is chocolate and wa uh, chocolate and watermelon. Uh, we have the lime-based Lacoste Live or Live. We have Lacoste Style and Play, which is an apple-based scent. We have Ancre Noir's um, uh, Lalique, um, Ancre Noir by Lalique, which is a nice dirty, earthy vetiver. We have Hypnos Om by uh, Lancome. This one actually reminds me a lot of Riverside Drive by Bond number 9. I think I totally missed that section back there now that I think about it, so we'll go back there in just a bit. And then we have Avant Garde by Lanvin. This is another great one to wear in the autumn. So I did miss an entire row back here. I'm sorry, so I'm just going to run through it real quick. We have Ode to New York. We have I Love New York for All by Bond Number 9. I Love New York for Mothers. We have Montauk, which is a nice oak base scent. We have um, New Harlem, which is like a syrupy, sugary, lavender scent. And we have Riverside Drive, which is by Maurice Roussel. Um, contains pineapple and violet. We have uh, Andy Warhol Silver Factory, beautiful lemony incense fragrance. And then we have Andy, um, Andy Warhol's success as a job in New York. So I did miss that line back there. I do apologize for that. So let's go back here. So I only have two L'Artisans. I hope to get tea for two very soon. Here I have Coeur du Vetiver Sacré. This is a nice sweet date vetiver. Uh, we have Havana Vani, also known as Vani Absolument. Here we have, um, it actually smells like a Frappant 1697. I think that's what it's called, or 1679 or something. Here we have Ragba by La Tafa Perfumes. Here we have Amir Al Oud by La Tafa Perfumes. Both of these smell kind of similar to 24 Gold by Scent Story. We have uh, Roma Uomo by Laura Biagiotti. I, 
I hope I'm not mispronouncing that. This one is a nice galbanum resinous orangey scent. Uh, number 17 by Le Cherche Midi, which is like an orchid vanilla, very soft scent. And here we have my Lila Ball fragrances. Aldehyde 44, which I think used to be the Dallas exclusive. Um, it's now discontinued. Bergamot 22, uh, Queer 28, Fleur d'Orange 27, Jasmine 17, Lys 41, or Lys 41, Oud 27, um, Patchouli 24 by Nick Minardo, Poif 23, Rose 31, uh, Santal 33, Elang 49. So these are my Lila Beau fragrances, very, all of which are, for the most part, pretty daring and unique, maybe with the exception of Bergamot 22. Um, here we have Revolution by Lisa Kirk, which I got from Indie Scents. It's supposed to smell like decomposing or decaying flesh. Very unique scent, um, but also not the easiest scent to get along with. And then here we have Curve by Liz Claiborne, Curve Kicks by Liz Claiborne, Reality by uh, Liz Claiborne, which smells a lot like the original Dolce Gabbana Por Homme, Eau de Beau, which is a nice spicy vanilla by L'Occitane. We have uh, Eau Masculine by Lolita Lempica, two bottles. I, I actually had many more, but I threw them out. Um, this is a nice star anise licorice type scent. El de Lolita Lempica, which is composed by Maurice Roussel, smells a lot like Musk Ravageur, but a more floral feminine version of it, minus the clove. The Eau de Minuit version of El Masculin, which contains Oud, and the Low version, which is kind of like a lemon verbena, lighter iris type of a scent. And then here we have Lomani AB Spirit Silver, which is uh, an Aventus clone. We have Essential, uh, which is kind of like a sugary scent along the lines of um, New Harlem. Here we have Intense Black, I think it's called, which smells a lot like Creed's Royal Oud, and Edol de Luban, which is a nice spicy boozy scent. Here we have my MFKs, Maison Francis Kirk Jean. We start off with Absolute Pour le Soir, which is a nice honey animalic resinous scent. We have Aqua Universalis Forte, which is a nice soapy clean scent, rather floral as well, some white florals in there. Lumiere Noir, which is a nice uh, spicy rose. Fusion Sacre Louis, which uh, was composed by Bertrand du Chafour, really nice bubblegum cross with hairspray type of a scent. We have Black Line by Mancera, Oud Rose, uh, Patchouli, a lot of patchouli actually. Uh, very spicy, roses and chocolate, as the name implies, that's what it smells like. Uh, Mandarina Duck Black, also known as Pure Black, nice tonka bean. We have Marc Jacobs for Men, which is a fig based uh, fragrance, very creamy, very nice. M for Men by Marilyn Miglin has a very dated smell to it. And we have Sandalwood by Marilyn Miglin, M Miglin um, also smells equally dated. Two scents by uh, Magnetic Scent, now discontinued. Two of my favorites, um, Untitled Number Two. I have a backup bottle. Uh, 4711 by Morer and Verts, which is a really nice Neroli scent comparable to Tom Ford's Neroli Portofino, but it also has the worst longevity in my entire collection. It's a noted cologne. And here we have Michael Jordan Legend, which smells similar to New Harlem by Bond Number Nine. Tattoo by Michelle Germain, which is a spicy amber in my opinion. Uh, Le Nombre d'Orambre by Mono Diorio, which is a nice powdery floral um, amber scent. Not really for me, but still happy to have it in my collection. Here we have Mont Blanc um, Exceptional, which is a nice coffee-based, smooth, mature scent. Montal's Aoud Queer Darabi, which is an animalic uh, leathery scent with, yeah, like an animalic tinge to it. We have Aoud Greedy, which smells a lot like Au Masculin crossed, uh, crossed with Ancre Noir by Lalique. We have Aoud Leather, which smells a lot like Tom Ford's Tuscan Leather. It's that same aroma chemical. We have Intense Cafe, which is a nice coffee, rose, amber, labdanum scent. Moon Oud, which is another Oud Rose spicy scent. And then we have Red Oud, which is a more gourmand interpretation of an Oud. Really well done. Kind of sm smells like a baked good. Uh, Moschino for Men, which has a date note, very nice, tonka bean appealing, youthful, Narciso Rodriguez for Men, which is a nice violet scent, it actually smells like a, uh, a wet sidewalk or whatever. We have Absinthe by Nasamato, really nice wormwood green patchouli scent, um, Black Afghano by Nasamato, incredible projection and longevity, um, I'm sorry the light just turned off, let me turn that back on, okay. Um, we have Blamage by Nasamato, 
We have Duro by Nasumato, Oud and Leather. We have Hindu Grass by Nasumato. This one has a really nice, rich, spicy patchouli. And then we have Pardon by Nasumato. This fragrance has magnolia, chocolate, cocoa, uh, oud, um, patchouli. Really nice. One of my favorite scents. Here we have Nautica Voyage, beautiful composition by Maurice Roussel, Eau de No 7, which is Violet and Iris. And then we have Lumiere Blanche, which is a really nice cardamom scent. This is a great house. I have to, you know, check out this house more. Here we have Cafe V by Olympic Orchids. This one is also a very nice cardamom, very spicy, cinnamon, you know, some other spices thrown into the mix. One million, smells like bubblegum. One million and ten, smells like bubblegum with denser florals and more rose. We have uh, Black Excess by Paco Rabanne. We have Invictus by Paco Rabanne. And then we have Ultraviolet Man, uh, Man by Paco Rabanne, which smells a lot like Bleecker Street. Invictus kind of has like this um, eugenol note in it, which makes it smell rather minty. Um, really nicely done. And then I have another one. I actually forgot it. I added it in there later on. That's Paco Rabanne Porome, which is a Shebra. Here we have um, Vampire, I think it's called Vampire Freaks. I bought it at Walmart. It's a fruity floral for women. I just found it in the discount aisle. Um, here we have uh, Perry Ellis 360 for men, which has a lot of juniper berry. Not one of my favorites. Uh, the women's version, Perry Ellis for men, uh, not the 360. This one has resins and a green apple note by Mathilde Bijawi. Here we have Girl by Comme des Garçons or by Pharrell Williams in collaboration with Comme des Garçons. Really unique scent. Uh, check out my review of that. Pinot Sylvester Original, which, you know, I guess smells like a pine tree or whatever. We have Amber Pour Ohm, nice interpretation of amber, smells soapy. And all the rest of my products smell soapy as well. We have two bottles of Infusion Dome. Uh, my mother has Infusion the Iris. Here's Infusion the Vetiver. It's just soapy fragrances all composed by the same nose, Daniela Roja Andrea. Uh, very well done. Here we have an oil that I bought from a stand recently, Musk by Spiritual, Spiritual Sky. Here we have a few scents by The Scent of Departure. It's uh, the same person who does the um, Histoire de Parfum fragrances. So we have um, Abu Dhabi, Dubai, and Vienna, which is a nice star and nice licorice uh, scent. I Am King by Sean John, which smells a lot like Adam Levine for men. We have Unforgivable by Sean John. I actually think that this is a better substitute uh, for Creed's Millicent Imperial than Love and Luck is. We have two fragrances by Sebastian. We have Black Magic, which is a floral grassy scent. And then we have Espresso Royale, which has a beautiful coffee note. We have uh, Chic Shike, also known as Opulent Shike, number 77. Uh, this one is, uh, it, it smells like Creed's original Santal, you know, um, sandalwood, cinnamon. Sova by Slumber House, which has hay and resins and tobacco. And it's comparable, kind of along the same lines as Shergi, but not entirely. Here we have Denel Oud Mubarak by Swiss Arabian. This is a really, really nice uh, scent. Uh, smells very similar to uh, Private Label by Jovoy. And now that I think about it, I missed an entire line of fragrances. I'll get back to it. You know, I just, I get so caught up making this video. Uh, Lair du Desert Marocain by Tower Perfumes. That's number two. And then we have Incense Rose, which is frankincense and myrrh combined with a really nice rose note. And then we have Vetiver Dance, which is vetiver and tonka bean. And then we have, um, I think it's Auburn. And this one kind of smells like Red Bull crossed with hairspray and aldehydes, but it's a very unique scent. I actually really like it. And then here we have Thallium Black. Um, the ones that I missed are uh, this row right here. We have uh, John Varvato's Original. Sorry, my light turned off again. Let me just go ahead and fix that. We have um, Vintage, two bottles of Vintage. We have the Platinum Edition, which I guess is the same as the 10th Anniversary Edition. We have Yop Ohm. We have Dirty English by Juicy Couture. We have Private Label by Jovoy. That's the one that this fragrance smells similar to. Um, really well done too. We have Canon's Agrawood and we have Norwegian Wood, which smells like pencil shavings. Uh, we have Boyfriend by Kate Walsh, Kenzo Porom, and that concludes that line. Okay, so where did I leave off? I also missed this row right here. I'm sorry about that. We have Luna Rosa by Prada. 
Batito Dali by um, Profumum Roma. Beautiful myrrh, cocoa, coconut scent. Here we have Polo by Ralph Lauren. Smells like a grandfather. Here we have Polo Blue. Nice cucumber based scent. Double black. Has mango. Uh, this one is Beverly Hills Polo Club. This is like um, a buttery, creamy type scent. Bought it at uh, TJ Maxx for a very cheap price. Uh, Rockware 99, melon scent, worst sprayer in the world. Rojas Man, which smells like New Harlem sugary syrupy scent. CJ Black by Rue 21, another chemically smelling scent. Aqua Sensiale, which could be called Blue de Chanel Sport. Uh, here uh, by Salvatore Ferragamo, by the way. Insurrection by Rayan Tradition, smells very similar to Essential by Lamani. We have. Um, Insurrection 2, also known as Insurrection Dark, which is a clone of Spice Bomb. And then we have Black by Ron Marone. This one is kind of like a sweet tonka bean powdery cocoa scent. Really nice, really cool bottle too. Over here in the front, we have Mugler Cologne, which smells like Creed's original vetiver. The original Angel Men. Love it. Uh, here we have Angel Men Pure Leather or Le Parfums de Queer. Pure Malt by... Uh, Tierra Mugler, Pure Havan, Beeman, a Mini of Angel, Cher Gris by Serge Luton. We have Bulletproof, Bittersweet, and Dead Sexy Number no. 6 by Tokyo Milk. And then here in the front, we have Paco Rabanne Pour Homme. We have Mandarino di Amalfi by Tom Ford. These are the private blends Noir de Noir, Oud Wood, Tuscan Leather, Tobacco Vanille, and Plum Japonais. Here we have Tommy Bahama Set Sail St. Bart's, which kind of smells like um, the uh, Calvin Klein that I was telling you about before. And here we have Loud by Tommy Hilfiger, which is Rose and Patchouli. I actually don't like this one at all. And we just have one more table to get to. I hope I didn't miss anything like I did earlier. I'm trying my absolute best. I know it's a long video. Thank you for watching the entire thing. So here we have you are by Usher Raymond, nice melon scent, Valentino Uomo, which is like an iris, uh, hazelnut, you know, type of a scent, smells similar to Dior Homme, Olivier Polge. Here we have Midnight in Paris by Van Cleef and Arpels, uh, two by uh, Virgin Island Cologne, we have St. John's Bay Rum and uh, Island Spice. So these two are really cool. The Bay Rum one contains a lot of bay leaf and cinnamon, really nice. Here we have Vera Wang's Rock Princess, uh, Versace's The Dreamer, nice tobacco. We have Versace Eros, nice, nice minty tonka bean vanilla. Uh, Versace Man O Fresh. We have Versace Pour Homme, which smells like Chanel's Allure Homme Sport. Uh, Ulysses by Vicky Teal. We have uh, another one by Tommy Bahama. This is called Vintage Spice. Really nice uh, bamboo note in there. Spice Bomb by Victor and Rolf. One of my favorite cinnamon, pink pepper, tobacco. And then we have a few Zerjoffs. We have um, Mamluk. We have Alcat. We have, um, which one is this? Oroville. We have Modoc. Dajala. More Than Words, part of the Join the Club collection. We have M7 by Yves Saint Laurent. We have Lum by Yves Saint Laurent. Nice ginger, spicy apple scent. La Nuita Lum by Yves Saint Laurent, which is a cardamom scent. Darker version of Lum. And then we have Body Kuros by Yves Saint Laurent. And here is my limited edition um, Angel Men Pure Wood. I have number 21 out of 25. So guys, um, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I tried to make this as brief as possible, but I already see I ran 33 minutes into this. Um, I have a lot of fragrances I have been collecting since I was tw uh, uh, 13 years old. You know, in high school, I had like 30 bottles in my collection. And while everyone else was wearing Axe and Tag and Bod, I was wearing Eau de Toilettes and Eau de Parfum. So I've been collecting bottles for a very long time. I have multiple sources of income. Um, I'm really fortunate and proud and lucky uh, to be able to do this. And, um, you know, 
I, I love this. This is a, a, a great hobby and passion for me and um, I'm very happy to be able to collect this many fragrances and review them and make the living that I have. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I guess, let me know what you think. Um, let me know what fragrances you have in your collection. If you want me to review a fragrance that you just saw here, please let me know what it is. I'd be more than happy uh, to do that review for you and, and most of all, Thank you for watching all 34 and a half minutes of this review. So guys, once again, thank you so much for watching. This has been Stephen with another video from Adolescence. See you soon.